Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and in this video, this is the sixth episode of my series where I teach you guys how to build a full stack application using React, Node and MySQL. And in this video, um, I'm going to be going over some really important topics. Um, we're going to be talking about how to do associations in um, SQLize. Also, we're going to be creating or at least start to creating our comment section. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to finish it. However, um, we're going to definitely create the database model and everything related to the back end. Maybe Maybe finish up the front end as well. So before we get into the tutorial, if you guys could leave a like, that would massively help push the video to more people. Um, we're almost, we just hit 8K and I would really appreciate if you guys could help me grow because I'm putting a lot of effort into this and I would just be really grateful. So yeah, that's basically it. Now let's get into the tutorial. Well, you can see over here that um, I already opened up, I closed my my client folder. Um, it's, it's, I'm just working on the server right now. And if you recall, we had a models folder, which inside of it, there's a posts file. And this file over here basically just created the model for our post um, table, right? So basically just creates our table. We define our columns, um, all the different things that we want to add into our columns and all the like basically just defining our, our table, right? So you can see our tables over here, it's called posts. However, if we want to really implement a comment section, we need to create another table, which is going to store that comment section, right? So maybe we call it comments, which is, I guess, what we're going to be calling it. And what we need to do is we need to find a way to associate um, this posts to a, a comments table. And why do we want to do that? Because each post might have many different comments. So, so what that means is we're going to be using associations to determine that so that we in, in our comments um, table, we're going to have some sort of um, key that is going to point to this post table so that we know exactly which post each comment goes to. And you guys will definitely understand the process as we, we work through it. However, um, initially, we're just going to work with associations. So in order to use associations in SQLize, what we do is we have to come over here and we need to first of all create our model, right? So the model that we're going to create is the comments table. So comments.js inside of our models folder, let's just open this up. And for now, I'll just copy and paste all of this code because it's going to be pretty similar. The only difference is obviously this is going to be um, called comments. Um, the table is going to be called comments. Um, at the end, we're going to return comments. And also, obviously, this this isn't um, we're not going to add this. Um, the only thing that right now we should add to our comments will be just the um, actual comment body. Let's call it comment body. It's just the actual comment that you write. So when you write a comment on YouTube, um, it's what you wrote, right? And it will be a string. Um, we might want to add the size of the string, something like that. However, we don't care that much about that for now. All we care is we're building our comments um, folder, right? And if I refresh this, let me see, I don't know if I'm running my server, but um, yeah, I'm running my server, as you can see. Um, so when I refresh my page, the comments um, model automatically already uh, is create it's automatically already created to our screen. So if we go over here, we already have a table called comments, which already includes some information. Um, but before we actually um, create our model, we need to determine that association that um, basically associates the posts to our comments table. So what do we do? Well, instead of posts, we have to say that each post might have many different um, comments. So the name of that is has many that that's the function we're going to be using in SQLize. And to determine that association, all we have to do is we have to grab the the, the model so posts, and then say that posts dot associate equal to models, and we're going to create a, a function over here. And this function um, takes in models, which basically is just a, an argument that has access to all the models that we have in our project. So you don't have to worry about that. And we just have to say that we want we want our posts table to have many. So has many, um, and many of models dot um, comments. And this name over here should be exactly the same as um, this over here, right? So this is basically what we're doing. We're saying that the, each post might have many comments. And then over here, we can add some different properties to this. For example, um, one thing that I want to add is I want to say that on delete, um, I'm going to turn this into cascade. And this basically means that um, if you delete a, a post from your table, 
it will delete automatically every single comment related to that post. So this is the association we are, we are basically creating. And now that we have this done, um, if we come to our database, you'll see that I actually had to drop this this table because um, it was created before I added this this piece of code over here. So if you created the table before you added this piece of code, um, because SQLize automatically creates every time like the table every time you you refresh or or save your file, all you have to do is you just have to drop like click over here and click on drop table um, uh, that the table that doesn't have the foreign key because when you come over here, you'll see that um, in our comments table, there is a post ID at the end of it, meaning that um, it will automate like this will automatically be filtered, meaning that this is how we're going to associate a comment to a post, we're just going to add the ID for the post, which is this over here. Um, let me go to the post, you see that each post has an ID. So for example, if a comment, we, we just add its ID, its comment body, um, the dates it, it's been created, the, the date has been updated. And at the end, we just add the ID for the post that we want that comment to relate to. And that's kind of the idea on what, what we're doing, right? So this is all we have to do for associating um, our posts table to um, comments. So what we can do is um, we can now start by creating our routes or our endpoints that are going to deal with comments. And to do so, we're going to create another route into our project called comments.js. Because now we, we, we are done working with posts, this is going to be fully related to our comments. And inside of here, we're going to do first of all, we're just going to copy this um, import statements at the top over here. So I'm just going to paste those over here, we're going to be using express, we're going to be using re, uh, a router, for example. And we're also going to be um, importing some models. So what models are we going to be importing? In this case, we're actually going to be importing the comments model, because that's what we're going to be dealing with, right. And this is used to deal with the database related to comments. So that's why we only import this. And in order to make this router work, we need to export this at the bottom. So I'm going to copy this piece of code from the posts and we're just going to paste it over here. Because we need to export the router containing all the endpoints that we're going to create related to this route inside of this folder so that in our index.js, which is the file that um, like is the entry point of our server, we have to grab this, um, this route over here at the top, and then just apply it to our project. So basically, I'll just call this comments um, router. And then I'm going to say slash comments like this. And let's say that our endpoint will be on slash comments. So let, this is the route that we're going to create. And over here, I'll just paste comments router. And now we have our comments route working in our application. So what do we do now inside of here, we just have to create our endpoints. And what exactly are the endpoints that we want to create. So the first one, actually will just be similar to what we did with the posts route because think about this, we just want to be able to read comments. So like select and like display comments, and also be able to create them, right. So similar to what we did here. Um, the only difference is that here we got um, a list of all the comments and then a list of comments by ID, which if you think about it, this is what we're going to be doing, because we want to grab um, only the comments related to a specific ID, but not the ID for the comments, the ID for the post, right. So we remember that in our column, we have in our table for comments, we have two IDs, the ID for the specific comment and the ID for the post that this comment is related to. So this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to copy this piece of code over here, because it's going to be very similar. And we're going to create um, basically a route called, um, we can just say, router dot get. And we don't even need to put this because we're only going to have one get um, only one get endpoint. So over here, we're just going to pass the post ID. So I'm going to say post ID like this. And so we can come over here and change this to post ID like this and rect up params post ID. And basically, when we make this request, all we have to do is we make a request to our server slash comments slash the ID for the post that contain that, that we want to access the comments to right. And over here, now we just have to grab the comments model over here, find by primary key, and just pass um, the post ID. So basically, that's what we're doing, I'm just going to pass the post ID. And over here, we should get um, comments. So this should return the list of all the comments. However, there's an issue. 
and I don't know if you guys already spotted this, but basically, um, find by primary key is a function used to find an element in our table, so the, in the comments table, which contains this ID. But we don't want to associate this post ID with the ID because this function will try to access the ID and not the post ID. So to make this work, all we have to do is we need to use another SQLized function called find. It's just find. And we can also use, it's actually find all because then it will return every single element. And you can see that the actual structure is already done over here. We need to use the where statement inside of this object and then just pass another object inside of here containing all the different um, specifications that we want. For example, we want our post ID to be equal to the post ID that we create, that we got over here. So all we're doing here, oh, I accidentally imported something wrong, but all we're doing here is we're basically telling SQLize to go to the table, the comments table, and return every single element where the post ID column is the same as the post ID that we're querying that we got from our params. And then at the end, um, let's just return this JSON containing this. So this is all we're doing. Very simple logic, but very, but very like powerful, right? Because we're we're returning every single element. So now let's open Insomnia and just check to see if this is working. Okay, so I have Insomnia opened up over here. I'm just gonna create another request. It's gonna be called comments. Um, I don't know, comments get something like that. It's gonna be a get request again. And let's just copy the link for our server and just paste it over here at the top. Now the route is different. It's not slash posts, um, especially not slash posts by ID. Um, it's actually slash comments because that's the route that we define. And at the end here, we need to pass a post ID that we want to query all the comments from. Currently, we have no comments, so we will not get anything. But if I wanted to, what I could do is I can just grab one um, specific post. So let's actually create comments for post with ID four or no post with ID five. Let's just add to all, all of them to this one. And we just pass the ID five over here and just click send. And right now it sends an empty array, it returns an empty array. But when we add more comments, it should return every single comment that, that exists for that specific post. So now to make that work and to, as far as to have a visual representation of that, let's create the route that is going to create comments. So to do that, we just have to again, come over here and create a, a post request in our router. And again, inside of here, we're gonna just add a, an empty slash, similar to what we did with um, all the other post requests that we created. And over here, let's just create our simple um, express structured um, function, right? So rec res and just um, open up a new function. So what are we doing instead of here? Well, this is a post request and we gotta pass some data for the comment um, as part of as part of the body. So what data do we want to pass? Well, remember that in our in our comments um, um, table, we just need a comment body and a post ID. So we just have to pass both of them. So somewhere where we make this request, we need to send the a body containing the text that is going to represent the comment and also the post ID that that comment is related to. So with that um, done, all we have to do is we're just going to grab that object that we're going to send through the body by saying uh, const comment equal to rec.body. And then we're going to copy the same code that we wrote over here, um, but change it a bit. For example, we're not accessing the posts model, we're just accessing the comments model. And we're going to create a new comment. And at the end, we can just return so res.json. Um, comment like this so that we can have a visual representation that this is working. We are remember right now we're just assuming that when we send that body is going to include not only the um, the uh, how can I say the, the comment body, but also the post ID. And if you recall, um, this stuff over here, so the ID, the created ad and the updated ad are done automatically by SQLize. So it doesn't really matter. We just have to add both of this. So now that we have that done, let's do that. Let's come inside of our insomnia again. And let's create a new request and call it comments post like this. And just change this to a post request. And over here, we can say that our body will be JSON like this, and let's just click on create. So over here, we'll just copy the same route that we have over here, and just paste it over here. But again, this one doesn't involve any IDs or any params. So let's just remove this. And all we have to do is we need to pass a JSON object over here, uh, containing um, a, a, a comment body. Um, but I need to make this adjacent. So I have to do it like this, comment body, like this and also a post ID. So let me just do it post 
ID like this and and this is going to be a number so just like this so what do we do we're gonna add this comment to our post number five that's what I wanted right because I just want to I just want to add it to this one because I, I actually it's not just a random example um, so to do that we just have to come over here and pass the ID five over here so five and the comment body let's just add this is a comment and this should work because now we have uh, we're making a post request sending the correct data as the body and it, sh it just should work so let's click on send you can see that we it returned our, our body which which is exactly what we wrote um, but to get any confirmation we need to go to our comments table and see if there is a new post inside of here so if I refresh this you can see that there is a post however there's no post ID um, I guess that this is an issue oh I think it's because I actually wrote post ID wrong yeah the P has to be capitalized um, sorry about that let me just drop this row that I just that I just added um, so I'm going to remove row, delete rows like this, I'm going to apply it. So we're going to delete the first row. And let's try again. Let's just run this comment again. Let's see if now it's correct. So if you can see, now it's correct. We have a comment. Um, here's the, the comment body. Um, it has the correct information for the created at and updated at and it's related to post ID number five. Let's add more comments to this post, right? Let's say, wow, great post. Um, so this should add it added. So let's just add awesome. Um, let me just add, please like the video <laughs> and just send this and let's just check our MySQL workbench. You'll see that now this post has a bunch of comments, right? Now let's check to see if our other endpoint is correct, because if we query this information from, for example, um, post number one, it should return nothing. But if we pass post number five as the ID, as you can see, it returns every single post related to that specific post that we pass, um, we pass the ID for, right? So this is working. And this is great. All right, we just correctly made our whole um, database model. And our, we're now finished with our API um, part of our comment section. Now, guys, I really wanted to actually um, start the react part of this um, of a comment section. However, um, due to me being like literally studying the whole day because of my finals final exams um i don't really have a lot of time right now especially because i have a, a a meeting in a in like five minutes so unfortunately um this is the end of this video um i'll be back on thursday to post another video the next video of this series um if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like down below and comment what you want to see next i'm really enjoying doing this series so if you're enjoying it too help me grow it because um, i'm putting, putting a lot of effort into this channel and i would really appreciate if you guys could give me some support so that's basically it really hope you guys enjoyed it and i see you guys next time